Welcome back. We're talking to this uh, old woman in the forest who uh, keeps swallowing her words, keeps saying the wrong thing apparently, and it's sounding very, very suspicious. Saying prisoner instead of guests, and bones instead of berries. Something very fishy about this woman. Why do you keep swallowing your words? Or because I'm just a frail old forgetful woman, yes. A likely story. Well, um... I don't really trust her, but... Maybe if we help her home, uh, we can find another way across that uh, gourd somewhere along the way. We'll just have to be careful. Plus, I have a feeling that if she has a prisoner, that maybe... It's uh, Ben Bandu's little brother. And if we help him, maybe he can show us uh, another way across that uh, gorge. All right, I'll help you home. Oh, yes. Thanks, plump little Trish. A nice, pretty girl. Thanks. So, let's help her. Apparently, she needs help getting home. I still need your help, Plumpud. A pretty girl. I can't walk all the way home by myself, you see. Help me home and I'll cook you. A good, thick, creamy stew. Yum, I'm getting hungry myself. Let's go. Okay. Against my better judgment. Lead the way, ma'am. Yes! Let's go! Come on, just follow me, my sweet treat. Actually, I just remembered. We got a diary entry about Bambandu, and I didn't... Read it. Well, let's read it now. I had my first encounter with a banda today, saying mole man is apparently like racial epithet, and a big no-no with these people. His name was Ben Bandu. He was a really sweet man, or boy, or whatever he was, I can't really tell. But he was sad. Ben had lost his brother in the forest, and he was looking for him. I told him I'd keep my eyes open, and I urged Crow to do the same. I hope he's alright, because if he isn't, this forest is probably not such a friendly place after all. As we're uh, finding out, because with this strange old woman. The old woman seems capable of walking on her own, strangely enough. Maybe she just needed some uh, encouragement. Strange looking house. Very foreboding, uh, I have to say. Looks like a cozy little burrow, like a hobbit hole. They don't look like the edible sort. In fact, these mushrooms look cancerous and ugly. Well, it's not as if you can really tell uh, if a mushroom is edible by how it looks. They look cancerous and I'd rather not touch them. They look cancerous, and I'd rather not touch them. Uh, apparently we cannot pick them either. Okay. Well, let's uh, go inside. As bad an idea as that might be. Oh yeah, just walk straight through. Come in, come in, honored guest. I'll just check on my stuffing. On my stew, yes. My thick, delicious stew. Oh dear, what have we here? This stew isn't good enough to stuff. To serve a guest as plump, as well built and delicious, as honored as you, my dear. Why don't you just 
wait here, and I will go pick some more berries and spices for my stuff. My stew. But wait, what about your bad back? This old woman's really not too good at that whole uh, deception thing. What I mean, a she... strange... I mean, what a strange woman. <laughs> There's something not quite right about this place. Like those skulls, for one. They look disturbingly humanoid. That's probably not a good thing. What's that sound? Where's it coming from? Hmm, there's a sound. It's a small humanoid skull, like that of a... a child. Good God! Child or a bandu? You can take it with us. Because I've always wanted to take a skull with us. I wonder who this guy used to be back when he had a face. Wait, no, that's just too morbid. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. Okay, I'll stop before I end up quoting the entire play. Grotesque decor. What are those things? They look like... Is that blood? What does this creature do to people? I have a feeling that we'd better not find out. Grotesque decor. Oh. There's a cabinet. Maybe that's where the sound was coming from. Looks like a solid piece of furniture. It's got a chain tied around it. There's that strange knocking sound again. See if we can open that cabinet. It's locked solid. What was that? It sounds like somebody's trapped inside the cabinet. That it does. Let's see if we can find a way to open that cabinet. There's a broom here. It's too big for me to carry around. But maybe I could use it somewhere in this room. Maybe we can use it to break the, tra the chain. And get some proper leverage. Or just knock the cabinet Don't over. Hear me. It's a bandu. Who are you? Are you going to eat me? I'm April, and I've come to rescue you. Oh my, did my tribe send you? So to speak, I met your brother, Ben Bandu. Ben Bandu? Bandu Umanu Banta Orobana Biutan Dinoart? I think so. He said to call him Ben Bandu. Because he was sad for me? He will be so glad to find that you've rescued me then. Um, yeah. There could be a tiny little problem with that. The Gribbler captured you too? I guess she... it... whatever the Gribbler is did capture me. That took me by surprise since I did come here willingly. That's how she works, the Gribbler. She tricks Banda and humans to come here to her house, and then she cooks them and eats them. Friendly old lady, she's not. What's your name? Bandu utama tuta uyatan ayama binaort. That's a little difficult for me to remember. How about I call you Bandu Uta? Oh my, yes, yes, that would be fine. We have long names, us Banda, as long as our tunnels. You can tell me more about your people later. Right now we need to find a way out of here. Okay. Diary entry. I've been tricked. I should have known something was wrong with that old woman. I mean, she was drooling and slobbering all over me. She kept tripping over her words and saying stuff like prisoners instead of guests. And her teeth were abnormally large. But still, if you can't trust sweet old ladies who've hurt their leg picking berries in the forest, who can you trust? Hansel and Gretel, my heart goes out to you, kids. All kidding aside, however, we need to get the hell out of here before the bitch comes back. But how? 
Well, if the Gribbler actually really tricks humans into get going here, she's really bad at it. And the people who fall for it, they really uh, are too dumb to live. The only reason I went along with it, because I thought I could maybe find uh, Ben Mandru's brother the, that way. And I did, so that's nice. Well, we'll see how to get out of here in the next video.